Hey folks, it's Paul Ramsey and I'm joined by Laura King who is presenting a two hour workshop on Friday, August 11th at the 2017 NGH convention. Uh, it's gonna be about how to conduct a golf hypnosis workshop. Big market, a lot of golfers out there. I think that's smart, Laura, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm Better? excited about teaching this. Last year I did a one hour on it, this year I get to do a two hour. Ooh, so dive I a little deeper? Yeah. Yeah. Dive a little deeper and go into more workshop um, working things that work you know, in the marketing of it too, to where to go and how to get people to want you to do the workshop. Yeah. So this is an interesting distinction right off that you've made is I've seen plenty of people over the years uh, at the convention do uh, seminars or workshops on how to just help golfers individually but to actually do a golf hypnosis workshop that's this a little actually different. actually John Weir was doing this one. Yeah. And when John couldn't come a couple of years ago, they called me and asked me to do it. So I called John and John gave me some of his material. I added my material. So John helped me a lot with this. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. great. That's great when colleagues do that for each other. Yes. You've got a cool community that way. Um, yes. when, you, when you think about, um, tell me a little bit about, because uh, just so people know, because maybe they won't, we've already done some other interviews, but maybe they won't find that. Maybe they'll only find this. You don't only do s golf. I mean, you do sports, right? Tell me more about that. I do all sports because any tool that you can learn from the golf hypnosis workshop or from the, the, the overall sports one, you can use in any sport. So look at this and say how to conduct a hypnosis workshop for sports because you can take and pull and go with the golf to equestrian to baseball to tennis. You can use it for anything. Right, right. So cool. What do you yeah. think um, the value is for people – that are at the convention, when you think about what you're actually going to teach them, how it's going to help them go back and, and get new things done. Maybe they've never got into sports performance before. How's it going to help them go back and, and do better with their business? Well, because I give you all the tools too. I don't just teach it to you. I nice. give you the PowerPoint. I tell you, you can use it, put your name on it. You can take my name off. You can use everything that I give you. And if there are people out there that have done it and I didn't get the material to you, I've had some hiccups at my office and you hear this and you didn't get them before, just tell me you took it before and I'll get it, send it to you. Nice, nice. We got really strong learning objectives, you guys. I mean, how to conduct golf hypnosis workshops to grow your business and help more people. Uh, hidden secrets of conducting group hypnosis sessions that produce massive success. Various ways to structure and design your programs that have proven successful and how to immediately apply the information and use it to generate more prosperity. So she's got a plan for you guys. She's got a plan here. Uh, August 11th, 9 a.m., two-hour workshop. If you want to hang out with Laura, Laura, have you, how many, you work with golfers? I mean, you work with so many different sports people. Um, it's funny. When I first became a hypnotist, the first person who hired, hired me was a professional golfer. Really? I was all over the United States and I didn't even know what golf was. I mean, I knew what <laughs> it was, but I, you know, I, you know, fake it till you make it, fake it till you learn it type of thing. And then what yeah. happened to me is I came to the first convention and I saw on the list, hypnosis for golfers it was Joan King and I couldn't wait to take the class so I went and took the class I was so excited I'm sitting in class I'm going to heck with golfers equestrians because I've lived my whole life it shows my daughter showed the circuit and everything and so that's how I did that then I implemented it all with my professional golfer well Joan King lived right down the street from me and I didn't know it no way so when I implemented a lot of her material I went to her and I said you know can I can we put your name on this she says no Laura I'm retiring you have it, go for it. And uh, then, then, she, then she retired up in Tryon, uh, um, North Carolina, near where I have a house up there. So it's kind of funny, the similarities and the cool. processing. So that's how I got some of the material. And then John Weir, through his certification, his processing, I added some other stuff to it. He, he helped me too. I used his protocol with some of it. Yeah, nice. But that's how I ended up with golfers. I don't promote it all now. I'm all word of mouth. Yeah. So I get all kinds of from um, doctor referrals, from medical, through the sports. And I, I, I just, um, I'm, in, at, I'm 61, so I'm at the little older now. And I just like the flow. I just like seeing clients. That's my yeah. Big thing. Yeah, good. That's cool. What, um, 
what do you think like is one of the most important things you've learned? I don't want to get you to give away like your real content of your, of your workshop, but like one little nugget, you know, we talked earlier about the idea of if you can get a pearl, just one little pearl about like, what is it so often that's important when working with, with golfers or athletes in general? Really and truly, it is to get them to imagine what it is like to be what they want to be. Sometimes we don't realize, you know, I had a salesperson, she didn't even like what a salesperson was. I don't like them, I never want to be one. Well, yeah, then you're not gonna be one. <laughs> I've had an equestrian that, you know, the people that were winning, she thought were arrogant, rude, and socially acceptable, then her brain's never gonna let her be a winner. Yeah. I've had that with my golfers, you know, they don't like what the representation of what that winner is. So there is an unconscious programming. So it's really to define with the person what the outcome is that they want and that they have permission to be it. Yeah. They need to, they need to like what it looks like, what it feels like. So using that mindset, then creating what are the things in the subconscious mind that the limiting beliefs, the things that are keeping them from that, that's our job to help them release. You guys, do you see how fast she went there? That's how fast I said, uh, and she went, boom. This is why you go to the convention. This is why you seek out people like Laura who have done it and done it and done it. And then when you ask a question like that, they just answer it. And usually they answer it far beyond your desire, you know, what you hoped you'd get. That was beautiful. That was amazing. And this is why you should go spend time with her if you care about helping golfers or athletes in general. All right. So how to conduct a golf hypnosis workshop, August 11th, 9 a.m., with Laura King. Go do it. It's that simple. Laura, thanks for making this time for me. Thank you. Have an awesome day. All right. You take care.